Hi everyone. I could be anywhere in the United Kingdom, I know, but I'm actually in Scotland. And uh, a friend of mine just said to me the other day, John, it's taken you 43 years to look at a deal in Scotland, which um, is a bit unkind because I was trying to do some deals here in the early 90s that never came off. But I'm here for two days and uh, I've got a couple of deals to look at. In fact, we've got one deal that we've managed to negotiate a lockout agreement on. And the lockout agreement is when you pay a non-returnable deposit normally in order to gain so many weeks uh, um, without any competition in order to try and buy the property. Um, and this, this property here is one of the number uh, I've come to look at um, on a development uh, which isn't finished and, and there's always lots of lots of um, investigations to do. I always say uh, buying a part, to part finished development like the one in Birmingham we bought uh, last year, it's like investigating a murder with no suspects. Uh, you've really got to be very careful with these deals and make sure you investigate everything thoroughly from the services uh, through to building regulation approval and all sorts of other things as well. So I'm here for two days in Scotland. I know I can't prove it to you uh, <laughs> because it's raining outside uh, and uh, there are hills nearby, but I, I can't, uh, it's just too windy to record outside. Now, um, obviously a few things coming up in the next uh, month or so that you ought to uh, know about. One is Profit Elevator. Uh, and if you want to apply to be on the show and you've got a deal, and by the way, it doesn't have to be a residential deal, it can be a commercial deal as well. I'm very keen to buy commercial deals at the moment because I think there is a recession in the, in the commercial property market uh, and there's huge discounts. Um, you know, I'm, I'm buying commercial property at massive discounts to what it would cost to build even, never mind what the land would cost uh, originally. So. Um, I'm very keen to buy commercial at the moment. So if you've got a commercial deal you want to bring to the property elevator show, then uh, you know the rest of them, Ranjan and Nicholas and Helen and Paul may not want it to do a deal with you, but I may well do. So please um, think outside the box a little bit uh, and, and apply at propertyelevator.tv. Um, applications are open for another week or so, I believe. Um, so please do that. I've also, at the end of March, um, and it might sound a long way off 28th and 29th of March, but actually it'll soon be here. I've got two days of seminars. I'm doing my first commercial seminar, uh, which about commercial property buying and selling. I've already said how, how uh, keen I am at the moment to buy commercial property, and I've been buying commercial property for, goodness me, um, goodness, 35 years. So people tend to think I just do residential. I do do a lot of residential, but I also invest in commercial and obviously know quite a lot about it, hopefully. So much so that I wrote a book at Christmas which should be out in the shops and on Amazon um, probably in the next six weeks, eight weeks, hopefully. So the other seminar I'm doing at the end of March is Advanced Property Developing and Investing, which is always a popular one with people who have already got some deals, perhaps already owned some property, got a bit of money and want to push on and do more. And I've already got a few people who would like to come along to that as well. So I'll keep you posted how I get on in Scotland over the next um, month or two. Um, it's uh, all new for me, which is great, and, and uh, I've met some really interesting people and I've worked hard on making new contacts. And as I've always said, these contacts are so important, you know, to have contacts, especially when you're coming into a country, which, you know, different, Scotland's a different country to England, you know, you don't know, you don't know anyone, you have to make contacts, you have to push yourself, get out there, out of your comfort zone and make some contact, which is what I've done. And that's why I'm looking at a couple of deals here at the moment. And actually next week I'm in Cardiff in Wales, so I'll do a video regarding that. That's our first joint venture we're doing in Wales. Um, so um, I'll be reporting on that next week. So I um, had a good flight down, or uh, up from England. Uh, let's hope, apparently it's going to be very windy, so let's hope I get a good flight back. I'm slightly nervous about that, but um, hopefully it, the flight will be okay. See you soon.